Thanksgiving is our spiritual gate pass into the presence of God. Without thanksgiving, access to God's presence is automatically denied. If you go to a place where they have automatic doors that require codes to enter, if you enter the wrong code, it will tell you access denied. If a man wants to get to God and does not bring the code of thanksgiving, his access to God's presence is automatically denied. So man's get pass to God's presence is thanksgiving and praise. It says enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. And when we get to God's presence, in Psalm 16 verse 7, it said, For in thy presence there is fullness of joy, and at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. But what happens when we get into God's presence? The A part of that verse is, it, it says that thou will show to me the path of life. So according to God's word, it is in God's presence that we gain access to the path of life. We must understand that the journey of life is a journey in paths. We must take paths. The word of God makes clear to us in the book of Proverbs 14 and verse 12. It said there, it said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So the journey of life is a journey of paths. And the path of life is only available with God. In fact, Job chapter 28 verse 7 and verse 8, the Bible says that there is a path which no fowl knoweth. He said, which the vulture's eye hath not seen. He said, the lion's web have not trodden upon it, nor the fierce lion passed by it. But verse 23 says, God understandeth the way thereof, and he knoweth the place thereof. So from scripture we understand that the path of life is not discernible by man on his own. It will take God to show unto man the path of life. And until the path of life is revealed unto a man, that individual remains a victim of defeat. For there is a way that seems right, but the end of it are the ways of death. Death of, in terms of life, death in terms of endeavors, death in terms of every aspect of one's existence comes as a result of of not locating the path of life. But the path of life is not accessed by intellect. The path of life is accessed by divine direction. Until a man accesses God's presence, he cannot access direction from God. But when a man is directed by God because he has located God's presence, he enters into a realm of living as more than a conqueror. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah chapter 30, 35, beginning from verse 8 down to verse 10. It says there that there is a highway that shall be there, and a way it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those, the way ferry men, though fools, shall not err therein. Look at what it says in verse 9. No lion shall be there. Nor any ravenous beast shall go thereupon. He says, it shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. So there is a path that God has created for you where hindrances and resistances have been cleared off. But to find that path, to find that way, you need to gain access to his presence. And his presence is accessed via thanksgiving and praise. That is why when you find a man that is continuously thankful, they live as if the devil is not in existence. They live 
live as if the devil is not in existence. So many people are going everywhere, celebrating what the devil has done. See what Satan did to me. See what he did here. See what he did there. And other people are living as if the devil is not there. The difference is that they are living their lives with gratitude and thanksgiving. And therefore, it keeps showing them the path. And when you are walking the path, the lions are cleared off. Ravenous beasts are cleared off. So you are walking the path that the enemy is not permitted to cross you. From this day onward, the enemy will not cross.